if you want to know how to get these big curls full hair in layers yes layers like these keep on watching this video <laughs> This wig is from Recool Hair. It's a 5x5 five five closure wig. Not sure if it's transparent or HD lace. I think it's transparent lace, but double check me in the description box down below, as well as the length. This wig came with an elastic band already installed into it, which was pretty nice for glueless wear. It's a body wave texture. Quality was really nice, so keep on watching to see the end result. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Alicia. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to stay, and let's get into this video. This is going to be another glueless wig install. This wig is from Recool Hair. Like all the details will be down in the description box down below I have went ahead and already bleached and plucked this wig we're gonna be doing a glueless install um, and no ball cap method I know I've been saying that I was gonna make a video on this and I kind of do be making videos on this but let's get direct into the video so y'all don't feel like it's long okay so I'm gonna show y'all the easy way on how to do layers and curls and cut like a pro but the first thing that I like to do is to tip my lace so I go in with my foundation shade and I'm using the Revlon Colorstay and I am the shade Espresso. It can be found in Target and I just put it on the underside of my wig. I believe this is HD lace. Um, if it isn't, then don't beat me up because I know how you girls like to tussle. If it's not HD lace, I'll correct myself in the description box, but some laces, the hairs come through the back backside. That's something that I really cannot stand. But let's go ahead and get this wig on. We have the wig on. I think this is a 20 inch. Like this wig is mad long. It comes all the way down here. Like a blowout kind of look. I want it to look like I just got my hair pressed, tape ends, you know, you know the ordeal. So first things first is, we're going to go in and hot comb the hairline. cut the closure first thing you want to do is cut off these thick pieces this is going to make sure your wig is laid because you don't want to lay this part down it will not melt i can promise you now we're going to cut the lace because i want to cut my lace first so i'm going to cut right at the edge here Wig is on. 
Now that the wig is on, and if y'all want details on how I did, like how I installed my wigs, go check out another video. I just wanted to show y'all me installing it, but this video is going to be more about, you know, the cut. But it is a glueless install, as y'all can see. The style that I'm doing is going to be a shorter type of haircut because this hair comes all the way down here. Like, it's out the frame, okay? So, first thing I'm doing is getting my parts together. I'm just gonna eye out where I want to cut it up to and I'm going to do like a mid chest cut. You always wanna cut a little bit longer than what you're going to cut your layers in because once you get your layers in, it's gonna look a little bit shorter. You want to section out your hair in the front that you want your layers to start so i always start like here i do a section about this big here you want to make sure it's completely flat in the front or else it'll be uneven and you're going to cut on a diagonal and depending on how short you want your layers you'll start up higher if you want longer layers then you'll start lower And then I just continue to take that down I continue to take that down the hair so the layer stopped about you can comb it out and see the layers stopped right there so I want to continue cutting down the hair Okay, now that we got those, that's pretty much all you have to do to just keep it easy. You can always, what I do is I comb my hair back and I just let it fall to see if it's falling where I want it to be. It'll be a little bit um, longer on the ends, like longer than I want it to be. So I'll take this section here section it out this and then I comb out to the side and you're gonna cut on a diagonal so this is already falling out so I will start at that point and go down I just want it a little bit shorter and then see where it's sitting at and I like that a lot better I don't like how these pieces back here are a little bit long is when I go to comb my hair back here these pieces are a little bit longer than I'd like which is the hair that's underneath so I would just section out this section and do like I was doing and cut on a diagonal now it's sitting exactly how I want if you want your front layers a little bit shorter, then you just go in and continue the same process until you get it to how you want it to look.
guys thank you so much for watching this video my last final thoughts on this hair is that it curls so good the hair is super soft super silky great quality hair it has a lot of bounce very shiny i think it's super dark and it's not jet black like i did not color this hair um so i love when companies have hair that's actually dark and not natural brown but i love it the lace is good the knots are small i think this is a very nice wig i definitely would recommend someone else to buy it this is like one of my favorites so far like out of all the wigs i've tried i would definitely say that this is a favorite like i can't even stop touching it very silky yeah cute so yeah, once the curls fall a little bit, it'll give more of the style that I was going for. But this is super cute as is. So if y'all like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.